Yo, what up, what up, man? I'm back. I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm back in my new apartment in Toronto, downtown Toronto, CN Tower, Drake, Toronto Raptors, Kawhi Leonard. I, today's video is a bit different because I'm gonna be talking about how do I balance school and entrepreneurship and just like my business, making money while still being a student. So, I know you guys want this video. A lot of people hit me up with this type of topic. So, let's talk about this. Man, start off, if you guys don't know, I'm moving in. Oh, I'm not moving in. I'm going to Ryerson University. It's actually right there. I, I can look at Ryerson University right now. That's how close I am. But, you know, um, I just started school. My first week's done. Just came out of my last class, which is accounting, which actually isn't that bad. However, we're talking about something else. So, we are talking about balancing school with entrepreneurship or business and just all the areas of life all right so i'll give you guys some tips and tricks and just talk about different things i do to make sure that i am effective in school business and everything is well. start off man one thing that you want to be doing no matter what and shout out to brandon for this my mentor brandon carter is you want to be waking up early so i don't really wake up at 4 30 yet i know brandon does but i'm still settling in but starting next week what i plan on doing is starting at 4 30. you might be wondering yo why are you waking up at 4 30 i thought you had no morning classes you're right i don't but you know when i wake up in the morning what i'm basically doing is i'm owning my fucking life all right i'm owning my life so let's say all the work that i have to do that it's very important I can do it in the morning without distraction for example I do a lot of email work for my client right but I do have roommates here and they're my good friends of mine and we might end up playing PlayStation 4 and it's very hard for me not to play PlayStation 4 if my friends are all playing it so if I wake up at 4 30 when none of them are awake and I get to work right here at my table or my standing desk you know there's no distraction no one's bothering me I'm just fully getting work done yo Yo, what the fuck? I'm making a video, man. But waking up early really makes sure that you're very productive throughout the day just because you can knock out some of the hardest tasks and just do things that you would not normally do because you don't have distractions because everyone else is asleep. Another thing I do is I have this thing called a power list. So a power list is a list of things that I have to get done that day. Um, if you guys watch or listen to the MFCEO project by Andy Frisilla, he talks about this and he has five things that in his power list that he says, you know, to be completed throughout the day. And if he completes that, that's a good day for him, right? And I do the same thing, but mine is usually more than six. Uh, or I mean more than five and sometimes I have a different list as well and in my power list I just have a list of tasks from like the difficulty or the, Im the importance and I just put it there uh, and it's basically I write it down because if you don't write it down and if it's just in your head you're not gonna do it and that's a fact because especially now in the day of age where technology is surrounding us we forget things so easily so if it's not in paper or in your phone you will probably not do it so having this power list what it allows you to do is just make sure that you are getting work done so if you have free time you're not fucking around and playing video games or doing something that you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing but you're actually doing something that's on your power list so in my power list right now i don't know what i have to do but i know when i have free time actually one of them was recording a video which i'm doing right now but when i know when i have free time that I should be doing this right recording a video instead of playing video games or whatever another thing I also do is I have a clear morning routine so in the morning what I do is I wake up I go to the gym usually meditate or read or listen to an audiobook and just get hard things done my friend is snapchatting me right now so my morning routine consists of me going to the gym meditating reading or listening to an audiobook and that just helps me knock out some of the things that I don't like doing because believe it or not I don't like to meditate uh, it's it's, it just makes no sense going to the gym especially if I don't do it in the morning I'll probably not do it at all because you know in the afternoon you're with your friends or whatever and you just have so much distractions that you might just make an excuse and not go so I make sure to do that thing in the morning and just doing that I it just makes me productive throughout the whole day because I did some of the most difficult tasks in the morning right um, that has really helped me just balance school and like business together because I'm knocking out some of the important things first and then you know going to class or whatever oh another thing is the way i created my schedule is uh so i don't have any morning class because i like to protect my mornings for important work and also i made sure that i only have like three hour classes a day or not that many classes um, on a thursday it's a pretty hectic day but that's all right but like today i only had one class from 12 to 3 and you know from the time i woke up to 12 i did my work and from 3 to now i'm doing 
my work, right? So I'm controlling my time and I, I did this because I know myself and I know that I operate better if I don't go to class in the morning and if it's like, you know, if in the afternoon I go to class and it's, just, it's better like that. And it, I think it just comes down to being aware and just being self-aware of who you are and what how you perform best. All right, here's an important tip that I learned from my mentor, Brandon. So my mentor, Brandon, has a saying, show me your schedule and I'll show you your future. So if your schedule is empty, your future is empty. <laughs> you know, so what I started doing is really scheduling my whole day. So uh, I'll put up a screenshot right here maybe. But what I usually do is the night before, just schedule uh, schedule my literally my tasks. So if I have something in my power list, like film a YouTube video, it'll be literally scheduled. So in my schedule, I think it was from four to five or five to six, make uh, VSLs and YouTube video. Uh, one of my thing was doing email work for one of my clients. I make sure I block time for that, right? You do that is this thing called CAT, calendar assigned task. And when you do something like that, you know, you will make sure that you are gonna get results because what you're doing is literally putting and like blocking off time to do work. And so it's not a guesswork, you know what you're supposed to do no matter what, right? So you're not like wasting energy thinking what you're doing and you know what to do. So, and also the cool thing about that is your power list gets done. Just so just scheduling your like task in your schedule will make you like 10 times more effective and that's one of the biggest secrets I think or the biggest changes that I've made in my life that has got like got me the most productivity overall. Bonus tip is also use this thing called Trello. Uh, we usually use it for Bro Labs team tasks but I do it for my own personal thing where it's like you can have lists and you can add deadlines and adding deadline to your task is so important because if you don't have a deadline you'll probably never get it done. Or also like you know if it's not on your calendar you would not get it done you will just think about it and you know what you like it I kind of apply this quote kind of applies, but what you measure gets managed. Like if you don't, if it's not on your schedule, you, there might be a big chance that you might not do, it, especially if you have distractions going on, or like especially like being in college, you know, there's distractions everywhere. Uh, you might get invited to something or whatever. But if you know that you have to do a task and you do it, then you're good. So, all right, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you like this different formatted video. Uh, it's not e-commerce or business. Well, actually, kind of is business related, but this will just help you in life, man. And, you know, if you apply some of this thing to your daily life, you will be 10 times more productive because I've seen it with myself. I've been more productive ever, start, ever since I started scheduling my work and using Trello and, you know, just waking up earlier. So apply what I said in this video and you will definitely be more productive. Hope you have a great day. My Instagram is at SplashmanPB. Subscribe down below. If you guys have any video suggestions, drop it down below. Other than that, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.